What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Amon, and if you're not, welcome back. You know I'm here with all that good stuff, all that good stuff. I need to get ready because I'm about to go get a haircut. I have an event to go to later. It's actually funny, if you watch my Q&A, you see me speak about you to the people and me liking their products, and they just hit me up for this gallery event. I'm excited to go, and let's really see what's in store. But before we get that started, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, all that good stuff, and let's get this video going. What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. I meant to record me getting dressed, but honestly it's totally fine. I have on this Zara jacket that I'm pretty sure you guys seen in the last vlog and this ASO sweater. I like the fact that it has a slit in between and it's actually kind of like oversized, but with this jacket, you can't really tell. I have on these pants, which I'm, I believe they're from Zara also. And I have on these Prada loafers. Rue is gonna be coming to the event with me also because I know she's tired of being in the house. So I got her in a fit also. I forgot where I got this sweater from exactly, but this is a really cute turtleneck. It says Route 66 on there and it matches her fur perfectly. So we both got that thing on today. We got that thing on us today, Rue. So we're about to head out to the event. I'm excited. Are you excited? She said she's excited. So it's great to head out and I'll see you guys at the event. So I'm back home in my crib and it feels very interesting like coming home and being very very frank on my channel Honestly, I just want to be the most authentic person I could possibly be but I'm just got I'm getting home and it's interesting coming home And I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna say I'm, I'm gonna be very glad if I actually do post this but it's interesting coming home and you're home to yourself. And yes, I really do enjoy living alone. It is moments where it's like, oh, I am really alone. And I'm not just sure if it's, cause I know I'm, I'm not alone, but there's moments where you feel lonely. That makes sense. Um, and I think this is probably one of those moments. When I was at the event, you guys know I love you to the people. It's like a great event. Met a lot of amazing people, a lot of dope artists and photographers and, people who really work with the brand, which is really, really dope. But I have met one girl and she was like, oh, did you come in by yourself? And I'm like, yeah. She was like, how do you go to events by yourself? Like, how did you get over the social anxiety and the awkward phases, interacting with people that you don't know? And I'm like, girl, I'm trying to figure it out myself. <laughs> like, we in this together. <laughs> like, I don't know. I feel like I'm the most social, anti-social person, if that makes sense. Like Beyonce once said, the world sees one thing, but to know me at a different level is completely different. And I feel like on my YouTube, I'm more comfortable with you guys in a sense. So you guys see a different side of me, but to the other side of the world, like they don't get this a mod. So that was very interesting to meet her and her asking those questions just like made me think about myself on a deeper level. And, but I really love the fact that I went to the event and I didn't think 
twice about, oh, well, I don't know anyone there. Like, and it's funny because when I got there, I met a bunch of people that I already knew. I didn't know they was going to be there. So it just happened to work out. But I love the fact that like I didn't limit myself in a sense of not wanting to. Sorry, that's rude on her bone right now. I didn't limit myself in a sense of not wanting to interact with people just on a sense of I did not know them. And because you just meeting people out here is very interesting. But I'm glad I went to the event. I had a great time. Also, let me show you guys what I got. It was this body butter. And it felt like, I'm not going to say the word I thought it felt like, so I'm going to say a different word. It felt like butter, um, even though it's called body butter. Oh, wait, did I bring it in the house? I'll probably show you guys later at some point. It felt so smooth in my hand and it smelled good. So when I got the shower, probably I won't use it tonight because I'm not going back downstairs. But at some point when I get out the shower and I put that on, it's going to feel good. And I'm going to show you guys because it felt so smooth. Like it just glided on my skin. It felt really, really nourishing. And that's going to be my new, even though I have it a vino, or is it a vino or what is it? Because I really do like when I got the shower, I use oh, Nivea. She's that girl, especially for like, I don't know, black skin. I feel like it's hard to be a dark skinned man because I feel like I get ashy easily. But that right there, she get me together all the way. Like, how my body glistening, shining. So, yeah, I'll show you guys at some point. But yeah, I am chilling. I think I actually want to go to edit this week's vlog. So, I'm going to go downstairs and get some editing on. But first, let me get a glass of wine because y'all know I'm good for the wine. <laughs> Anything I'm good for is the wine, tell you that very much. Um, so, let's get a glass of wine. I feel like she's needed after a long day. But yes, I'm so actually annoyed. I literally spent all of yesterday's afternoon cleaning my place and now I turn back around and it's, it's, it's in shambles again. Like, I don't know what to do at this point. <laughs> it's really annoying with somebody who always wants their place to be clean but lives in their crib all day. So it's like, how can some place that you spend all day be cleaning if you spend all day in it? Like you have to clean it and be a way for it not to be, you know, I gotta figure out balance. I said I was gonna go downstairs and edit, but I low key felt like I wanna journal. Just write some things down, manifest is also a new moon today. I did not know. So I feel like I should go to my rooftop and just journal a little bit. I think that's the vibe. I think that's what it's calling for. But it's kind of, I'm not too sure if it's cold up there. You know, when you get up there, the atmosphere, you know, the altitude, be altitude. And so, I don't know. Maybe I just throw on a sweater. See now, baby, that's a sweet potato pie. <laughs> and if y'all can catch that reference to that TikTok, I really, really f*** with you. Because I hate, nothing I hate more than saying a TikTok and the girls don't know what I'm referencing because we all spend more than enough time on TikTok. So you should know what I'm talking about when I say a reference, honestly. But yeah, this is very much so needed. But did I mention that my barber ate? And it's crazy, I know that my barber ate, but it's amazing when you're outside and people know your barber ate. Like this one guy was staring at me for a mad long and I just kept on catching like glimpses. I was just like, okay, like you trying to say what's up? You trying to, what you trying to do? You trying to do to do? What you, what, you, what you want from me? I mean, you're not really my type, but you know, I'll take the like the comp in cases. But then he came up to me, he's like, whoever your barber is, like do not ever leave him. Like your haircut is like really, really good. And I was like, and it's crazy because I always brag about my barber, as you guys know. And I pay $100 for my haircuts, which I do not take lightly, but I feel like you pay for your service and when it comes to a haircut there's nothing i'm willing to not pay to have a great quality haircut because my haircut is me it is a part of my identity it's part of my, my lifestyle ever since i was a kid my mom has created this and i'm talking like as a kid like very very much so young my mom is a hairstylist so in her salon there will be a barber shop attached to it so while she's doing her clients hair i'm getting a haircut she's making sure as a kid i established that into my routine very much so at an early age on so now as an adult it's all I know. It's a part of my identity. I need to get a haircut. It's just like, and it's 
having a haircut is very therapeutic for me. It does something to my skin. It does something to me internally. It makes me feel so good. Once again, shout out to my barber. You did your ones and your twos and your threes. And you kind of did your fours and fives, but yeah. Let my barber down. I'm gonna have a little more wine and we can head upstairs and do some journaling. Welcome back to the vlog. It's a brand new day. Glorious, glorious day to be alive. Who's in the background? She's like, give me attention. But I have a lot to do today. I have to, first I need to go to the gym because I've been slacking this whole entire week and I told myself that I would stay committed no matter what. So I went Monday and I went yesterday, which was Friday and I'm going again Saturday. So three times out of week is not too bad. Honestly, I'm gonna take the win. A win is a win. A win is a win, honestly. And then later I have to shoot this Skims campaign that I have. Shout out to Kimmy for hitting me up. So we're gonna shoot that, but they want the vibe to be, and it's crazy how like you can shoot a piece of content and like it could just be something so small and then it come back as a concept or pitch. I like washed my car probably like two years ago and posted a video and they was like, yeah, we love this. We want this type of style, so. The girls want me bodied up, you know, skim, doing a little one-two. I figured I would take the concept a little further, so I bought a video camera, like a VHS. It's like a vintage, like things from like 2003 or something like that. And I figured I would just record on there, so it gives it that type of vibe where it's like kind of vintage, but it has that type of aesthetic. If you can see the vision, you can see it, but if you don't see the vision, I'm gonna show you the vision and you're gonna get on top of the vision. So I have that later. I'm gonna go to the gym first and then shoot that. And then I also, I'm trying to, so much I'm trying to squeeze into one day. I also wanna shoot two looks that I picked out last night. Um, just outfits, I wanna be consistent with everything. And I'm mad, I should have like done this before I got my haircut. So when I already have my haircut, I could just boom, 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 boom. But it's okay, we're gonna take it as it goes. So I have two looks I wanna shoot today on top of the campaign. So let's figure how we're gonna do that all today. Luckily it's still pretty early, it's only like 10.50, so. Drew, you still in the same clothes from the other day, which is kind of crazy. You're not gonna take the clothes off? No? You're not? You're not? Yeah, okay, guess not. But yes, let's get this day started. Um, ignore the background, it's a little messy, but it's totally fine because it's life, it's life. As long as this part is clean. And I really am starting to love, I need to actually go and pick up my uh, couch cover because it needs to be like a whole ensemble. But I'm really loving this mirror with the vibe. It's like big, it's nice. And I love the fact that you can see like the reflection. Like I, my whole purpose of putting this right here was one to cover this AC vent that's back here, but it's also just to see when you're, I'm in the frame that you can see the background of the landscape. And yeah, what do you have to say, Rue? Yeah, yeah? What else? What else? 
You want to come to the gym with me? <laughs> if she could, honestly, I really feel that she would. But to keep her entertained, I folded this little towel of hers. I folded it, lined it with treats. So I have to dig inside and get the treats out there. Go get it. So she's supposed to like sniff it and like figure out where the treats is lined in and like get it. So yeah, that'll keep her busy. I'm not too sure if I want to take you guys to the gym with me. Honestly, I might as well just take you because I said I was going to record a separate video of my gym routine. But today's kind of limited. So I'll just bring you guys to the gym with me, honestly. And it's crazy because I never ever used to wear shorts. I never was a shorts guy. But me and I have been doing legs. They've been looking real nice. This is them flexed, you know. The girl's flexing, you know, like making a thing. Yeah, let's head to the gym. Let's head to Celsius. I feel we're energized. And yeah. Right, guys so I just shot my skims campaign and actually I'm very excited I'm hoping that it came out good you never really know to sit down and you edit the footage but I think it came out really good um, I'm really glad that I got the vintage camera it was a great investment because I've always wanted one and I always wanted to shoot in that type of like setting hopefully when this is all edited I can show you guys maybe I just throw on some regular music so I don't get copyrighted but I'm really excited. Now I can enjoy the rest of my Sunday. It is 1246, which is super early. Like I'm on the ball, shot a campaign. Boom, now I think I wanna do some grocery shopping. So I wanna to go to Trader Joe's probably. I don't think I really need to go to Target, but cause I know I don't wanna to go to Target. Cause if you go to Target, you always spend like a minimum of $200 and I'm not gonna do that today. So let me just go to Trader Joe's, pick up a little groceries for the week. And then maybe I'll stop at like a regular grocery store. Cause I know Trader Joe's, they have good things, but they only carry their select item of things. And I know sometimes I'll be needing more than that. So Trader Joe's, maybe a regular grocery store. Before I go home, I need to stop and pick up my dry cleaning sheet covers. So pick that up and then I head home shoot two more looks maybe one minimum i just want to use my haircut while it's at its peak oh so shoot that and then edit for at least five to six hours i would don't mind staying up to probably like four or five a.m to get the video out by 12 noon new york time so today will be like an all-nighter type deal but it's totally fine because i kind of play this weekend focus on another camera and other things but it's totally fine so i'll pull it all-nighter just to get that video out to you guys so you guys better like comment subscribe all that good stuff all that good stuff because i'm putting it in this work i'm putting it in this work put it in a hurt the body is bodying today chest out chest out Ooh, hit it hit it hit it hit it hit it um <laughs> so yeah let me get ready or let me just head to trader joe's now and 
we see each other when we get there. Also, I want to go on the record to say I do not condone any bullying that Nicki Minaj is doing to Megan Thee Stallion at this moment. I don't care what it stems from or who said what, who did what first. When you start speaking on dead family members, babes, that's where I draw the line, especially dead mothers at that. So, Nicki Minaj, you know, I love you. You know, I, you know, I'm, you know I'm riding for you. You know, I ride for you heavy, but babes, this rant that's going on, this this stunt, and, I, and I'm usually able to separate the art from the artist, but again, when you start talking about dead family members, especially moms, you know, I appreciate the moms. The moms mean everything to me, especially black moms. Babe, you just, this is what you don't do. I just, and I find it so funny because she has this, all this smoke for Megan Thee Stallion, but literally two weeks ago, Cardi B was talking shit about her family and sis was quiet out. So she was scared of Miss Dangerous. When it came to Miss Dangerous, she was scared. But now it's Megan Thee Stallion, you know, Megan Thee Stallion's gonna keep it cute. She's not really the girl to like go on Twitter and do the rants and all that. You know, Cardi B's there for that. Cardi B could take it there if you wanna take it there. So I feel like Nicki Minaj is choosing her battles wisely and I hate the fact that she's choosing a battle with Megan Thee Stallion because literally two weeks ago, Cardi B was just talking about your family and you were silent for that. She told your man to go to a park and you couldn't do that because you know why you can't do that. And again, it's kind of upsetting because like it's Nicki Minaj, you knew when you married this man, what he was tied to, and you knew what your image is tied to. So you automatically had to knew that you would spend the rest of your life defending this man. And if you wasn't up for that, baby, you should have chosen another man. And I'm all here for love is love, who you want to love, who you love, and that's all it is. I don't know the details of who did what and what did what happened, what time in the back in the past. But babes, you had to have known when you married that man what you were signing up for. So you can't really be upset when the girls say Megan's law, and the Megan's law is facts. Like, no shade. All facts. It's a Fendi fact. So, Nicki Minaj, let's stop the violence. Let's stop the violence. Let's get ourselves together. But yeah, that was my rant for today. And Nicki Minaj, I hope you do better. We are in our, we're supposed to be, and I hate the fact that like people think she's in her legacy era, she's supposed to be like Beyonce and Rihanna, you know, pay the drama, that and the third, but like, sometimes I'm Beyonce and I will literally ignore the internet bullshit, ignore the comments, ignore the say so, the back and forth, the DMs, that and the third, but sometimes I'm also Nicki Minaj and you going, I'm gonna check you. So like, I kind of get Nicki at the same time, but to do at this level, this stunt, especially when the fact that Megan Thee Stallion is literally paying her dust and she's literally out in LA throwing that back on um, Victoria Monette so it's like girl you doing all this and it was mad funny because like in her live you could see the reflection that Kenny was in the fridge looking for something to eat there's like Nicki Minaj out here doing a rant but Kenny in the fridge looking for something to eat like girl go make some dinner for your mans and it's like yeah girl just just put the beef down like it's she's choosing her battle and she know Megan Thee Stallion is an easy picking so she gonna do that but you know hey that's my rant on today's drama and today's tea. Okay, let's head to the grocery store and do some grocery shopping. Money, hold up, got a cut up, lot of order, dollars, quarters, wrist, water, reach, water, bitch, on the on the on the wanna come on, come on, hold on, hey, I'm a stunner, stunner, summer, summer, been in. Hana, cook up, hey, my crew, hey, show for ways. Pop it, pop it, sip it, hey, corn, rich, nigga, on A1. Is that the lava you want? Uh, no, Azaro. Thank you. Turn the dead, keep it with get on the neck. She only come with a six. Speed in the bitch, I still got my foot on the neck. Uh, finna put on the wrist. We used to drop it at X, huh? From the song, gotta keep it a gun. Not a regular, but that's shine. Fuck a whole bottle, we get reminded. She won't be sticking in deep in our gun. Hold up, gotta cut up. Light up, order. Dollars, quarters, wrist, water, a bitch, water, a bitch. On a, on a, on a, come on, come on, on a, hey, I'm a, stun on, stun on, stun on, summer, been in, on a, cook up, hey, my crew, hey, hey, surf on, wait, surf, 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 pop up, hurt, pop up, smurf, not a, dirt, 
I can call up their Kroger shirts, means of merch. Okay, guys, so I'm back in the house. Got my groceries, but honestly, the sun is hitting right now, and I want to take advantage because I haven't shot in any content. Well, actually, no, like fashion content with my haircut. So honestly, these groceries are gonna just hold on for a second, split second, so I could shoot some. I went downstairs to see the sun was hitting. So I had this look. I can actually just show you guys now. I have this look, it's actually really, really nice. It's also Veil Lives. Again, shout out to Veil. I love me some Veil. Basically, I have these Veil pants, which I really am in love with. I love the design on them. I love like the flare at the bottom. It just gives like that bell bottom cut vibe. So I have these jeans and I paired it with this varsity jacket that they also sent me from Veil. Fire. Tell me this is not fire. Like, let's be, if anything we're gonna be right now, let's be very, very for real. Tell me this is not fire. Look at the detail on it. Look at the back. You know, they ate this up. Love the design, love the detail and the texture on it. Just super duper fly. I was gonna pair it with a white t-shirt, like a button up type vibe. Like I love doing preppy casual looks, but just adding a twist on it so it gives that like streetwear vibe. So I also paired it with this tie and I was actually really happy because I just learned how to tie a tie recently. So, and I also was gonna pair it with my Prada loafers. I was trying to debate if I wanted to do my Margellas, but after speaking to my congregation, they told me that the Prada loafers would be a better fit. So let's put this together right now. The sun is hitting. Let's just do it right now. We got the time right now. So let's do it. Dripping, tipping, tripping, women, hey, Lillian, hey, Dylan, killing, spinning, willing, grilling, hey, feeling, pay, money, cut up, got a cut up, ladder, water, water, dollars, quarters, wrist, water, reach, water, your bitch, on a, on a, wanna, come on, come on, on a, hey, I'm a, Stunning, stunning, summer, summer, been in Hana, cook up, hey, Michael, hey, Michael, hey, 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 What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. Um, it has been some hours since I was taking pictures. And honestly, I was chilling the day away. Um, actually, I actually was playing with the camera and trying to get the footage off of the camera to my laptop and that was a bit tricky. I did it yesterday, but for some reason today, it was just not giving what it was. Actually, this lighting is super duper bright. Okay, but the skims footage came out really really good I'm really excited to edit it and put it together and then I'll show you guys I probably like insert a clip somewhere of the real slash video and Let you guys see But my place is a mess and I did not put away my groceries. So I figured let me just get to that now even though it's so late but We're still gonna do it. I made sure when I like First, first came on my put like the essentials, just like eggs, any meats, things like that. That can go back in the fridge, but other things I have laying in a bag still. So I'm gonna take them out and clean this place up because it is a mess and I wanna enter the new week in a clean space. So yeah, just vibe out with me, throw on some music, watch me clean, you know, all that good stuff, all that good stuff, all that good stuff. So yeah.
What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. It's a new day, but the day's already done. Like the sun's setting. I've, it's Monday, but I've been really in this tired mode. Like I woke up probably at like one o'clock in the afternoon. Edited some content and I made this BLT that put me to sleep. And now I'm just getting back up and I think it's probably like 6.30 and it's kind of crazy because I just wasted the day away. And it's Monday. It's not the most productive Monday, but honestly, we're here. We move. We live. I'm not going to completely waste the day. I'm going to get my dry cleaning because they close at 7, so I have 30 minutes. And I also need to go to Whole Foods and pick up this grocery order that my sister made for me. We were supposed to make our pasta on FaceTime, but then we calculated this whole thing, but then we realized we are three hours apart. So she was like, okay, when I get home from work, I'm making like dinner immediately. But that was probably like 4.30 my time. And I was not about to eat dinner at 4.30 in the afternoon. So I'm about to go pick up the order and I'll just like send her pictures of whatever I make. Is there a scratch over here? What the f so I'll just make my food and send her photos of when I'm done with the process. Rue, please, let's just sit. Let's sit. Go sit. It's the taps. I have a headache. And these taps around this house, like, girl, <laughs> there's not much for you to be wondering about. So just pick a spot and just chill there, honestly. So, yeah, I'm about to go and get this half of this day started. And, yeah, let's just rock out. I'm really excited to pick up the covers from the dry cleaners because I'm kind of over these two pillow shams not having a cover to them because it just makes it not uniformed in a sense. I'm excited to get that and then let's go to Whole Foods and pick up the groceries and come back and make some dinner. I said I was supposed to edit last night but I edited some different content and I'm actually kind of annoyed because I shot and edited Skims content yesterday and I set the back for review today and they was just like we like it, but you know, they were pushing more for digital. I just love the VHS vibe to it. It just gives it that vintage, you know, car wash. I'm hand washing the car. It's like the 90s type of vibe. Got bandana, glasses on. Cause it came out really good. It came out dope to my liking, but there was like, we can't do anything vintage. And I'm just like, put Kim on the phone now. So we need to have a little chat. Because if it was, Kim would have loved to do this herself if she could, but she can't. I thought it was really dope, but I'm going to have to do some re editing and just do footages that contain only the digital camera, which is like kind of boring. I'm like, ugh. Let's have some fun. Let's spice it up. Just like take away from the regular everyday content that people's putting out. But. It is what it is. The girls get paid for what they get paid for. So who can I argue? Who can I fight, honestly? But yeah, let's go to the dry cleaners and go to Whole Foods and come back because Whole Foods is probably like 30 minutes away. The Whole Foods that was by my house, they didn't have all the ingredients that I needed. My sister had to find a different Whole Foods, which is all the way in Hollywood. So it's definitely going to be some traffic this time around at this time of night. So yeah. I just go before it gets too late. And I really want to make the dry cleaner. So let's go. I'm literally just going to throw anything on. Like, I don't really care. I could look like a homeless person. I have nobody to impress. Ru, you want to come with me? Of course you do. I honestly told her I was going to take it to the dog park today. But again, when you wake up at one o'clock in the afternoon. It's not much you can do for the rest of the day. But tomorrow is also gonna be another nice day. So I figured I would just take her then and tomorrow will be her day. But the only way I can really do that is if I, actually no, I can do, maybe I have this video posted. I'm trying to figure out when I'm gonna have this video posted. It's supposed to be tomorrow, Tuesday. Cause I didn't have it posted today, Monday. So if I can get that all done tonight, just pull it all nighter. I really would be happy, but if not, video will come out Wednesday. And that's what it is. It is what it is. It was what it was, and it's gonna be what it's gonna be. I can just hear them now. How could you let us down? They don't know what I found. 
feel like a brand new person. I need a hoodie. Something loose fitting that doesn't really grab me. I look absolutely crazy and it's absolutely fine, Rue. Okay, throwing on my favorite jacket. Okay, phone, wallet, keys. Am I making a gym today? It's okay. I could go to the gym tomorrow. <laughs> it's not a force. Okay, let's go. Yeah, sure, you can come with me because the way you're just standing by me, it's, it's a little intimidating. All right, let's head out. Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high. Hands up high. Hands up high. Tell them to the lights down right now. Put me in the mood. I'm talking about dark moon perfume. Go, go. I recognize your fragrance. Hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit. Mm. And I know you taste this a little bit. Mm, high maintenance. Mm. Everybody else basic. You live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice. Poetic justice. If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? I mean, I write poems in these songs dedicated to you when you're in the mood for empathy. Blood in my pen. Better yet, with your friends and them. I really wanna know you all. I really wanna show you off. Fuck God, pour up plenty of champagne. Cold nights when you curse this name. You called up your girlfriends and y'all curled in that little bitty range. I heard that she wanna go and party. She wanna go and party. Nigga, don't approach her with that Atari. Nigga, that ain't good game, homie. Sorry. They say conversation. A nation, I can tell, but I could never write my wrongs unless I write it down for real. P.S. You can get it, you can get it, you can get it, you can get it. And I know, just know, just know, just know, just know, just what you want. Oh, where the justice, put it in the song. All right. Photographs and all these one-off vacations you've been taking Clearly a lot for me to take in, it don't make sense Young East African girl, you're too busy fucking with your other man I was trying to put you on game, put you on a plane Take you and your mama to the motherland I could do it, maybe one day When you figure out you're gonna need someone When you figure out it's all right here in the city And you don't run from where we come from That sound like poetic justice Poetic justice You were so new to this life But goddamn you got adjusted I mean I write poems in these songs Dedicated to the fun sex Your natural hair and your soft skin And your big ass and that sundress Ooh. Good God What you doing that walk for? When I see that thing move, I just wish we would fight less and we would talk more. They say communication, save relations, I can tell. But I can never write my wrongs unless I write them down for real. P.S. Yeah. You can get it, you can get it, you can get it, you can get it. And I know, just know, just know, just know, just know, just know just what you want. Oh, where the justice, put it in the song, all right. You can get it, you can get it, you can get it, you can get it And I know, just know, just know, just know, just know just what you want Oh, where the justice, put it in the song, alright Every time I write these words, they become a taboo Making sure my punctuation curve, heavy letter hits true Living my life in the margin and that metaphor was proof. I'm talking poetic justice. 
poetic justice. If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? I mean, you need to hear this. Love is not just a verb, it's you looking in the mirror. Love is not just a verb, it's you looking for it, maybe. Call me crazy, we can both be insane. A fatal attraction is common, and what we have common is pain. <laughs> I get a bit of 